Hi there, my name is Gabriel Boat, SEO manager at Hike SEO. And in this video, we're going to be talking about structured data and schema markup and everything that it entails. So let's dive in. So first things first, what you'll learn in this video. Well, firstly, you'll learn what is structured data and schema markup. Secondly, you'll learn about the five different common types of structured data and what each one is. Then you'll talk. Then we'll talk about common examples, so you can see it in action being used in the search engine, and why you actually need it. What are the benefits of structured data? And then we'll talk about how do you use it on your website, how to add it on your website, and then how to test it to make sure that it works. So let's dive in. What is structured data? Great question. Uh, the first thing is structured data is information that's organized in a specific way to allow for easier search, analysis, and processing. Basically, it helps search engines to understand the content of the page and the relationships between different data entities. For example, if you have an organization, a person, a um, phone number, a telephone, um, a, uh, an address, ratings, whatever, it basically shows the relationships between them. So here's a quick visual to show you. So there's, by default, you have your information on your page, for example, contact page, you have your phone number, address, whatever. And then on the second row here, you see the yellow bit, that's the kind of the wrapper around that information, basically tells uh, the search engines, oh, this information is the phone number, this information is are the reviews, this information is the business name. So it gives um, a clear indication so that search engines can grab that piece of data and use it directly in the search engines. So let's talk about the five types of structured data. The first one is microdata, basically simple HTML5 attributes that you can use. Next one is RDFA, so also known as Resource Description Framework in Attributes, and it uses HTML5 attributes to describe the relationships between the data and the resources. Next is JSON-LD, and the short for JavaScript Object Notation for Linked Data, and this is a lightweight format of structured data that uses JavaScript, obviously within the name. And then we have micro formats, and this is a set of standardized HTML classes and attributes. And finally, we have schema.org. This is the one that you most likely use, and it's a shared vocabulary for structured data supported by the major search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, and Yandex. So they basically all collaborated, collaborated together to create this a kind of dictionary of entities that anyone can access and structure their data with. What is schema markup? We just touched lightly upon it. Basically, it's a type of structured data that can be added to website HTML's code. Uh, and you can go to uh, schema.org and check out all the entities that they have on there right now. Maybe a bit overwhelming. You may only use a, f a handful of them, but even then it's useful to go on there because they have some great examples uh, and tools on there to help make it easy for you to implement schema.org on your website. And basically this helps to create an enhanced description, also known as a rich snippet, appearing in the search results. So you've probably seen these and we'll show you a few examples of how these actually look. Uh, but first, I want to show you how the code actually looks. And don't worry if you don't know anything about HTML. just want to give you an example. So here you have an aggregate rating. So on a website, you might have five, like a four stars, and then underneath it says 3,077 ratings or reviews. And this schema.org basically tells the search engines what this information is. So what is four? Oh, it's this number of stars. What is 3,077? Oh, it's the number of reviews. And all of this is the aggregate rating for this website or for this service. So what are rich snippets? Well, basically they're enhanced data within the search engine results pages to make your web pages appear more prominently and enhance engagement. It basically gives you more real estate as you'll see in the coming examples. So for example, the first one is 
Waterstones. I type that into Google and you'll see immediately it has a large uh, first page real estate. You'll see the main categories for such as children's books, fiction books, bestseller books, um, even sign in register pages. And on the right side, you'll see the knowledge graph. Uh, you'll see the website, the name, the type of company, a little description, customer service phone number, uh, any parent organizations, the CEO, all of that information has been pulled in. Uh, a large part of it has been pulled in using schema.org, using rich snippets. Um, a lot of that is within Google's knowledge graph. So it understands companies, it understands entities, organizations, and it pulls bits of information to enrich its own database so it can uh, enrich the, the search results for users. Another example that you've seen a lot are ratings. And once ratings are tagged up correctly, they can show up in search re search results like this. So in this case, London Eye Tickets um, or Attractions in London, and you'll see um, it has 88,000 reviews um, with the 4.5 average rating. It even pulls in a, an image for that, which is fantastic. And it just creates more impact when people are searching for it. So what are some common schema types uh, that you could use as a small business? Well, basically businesses and organizations, definitely applicable to small businesses. Uh, events, you have people. So if you are a public figure or a celeb or even like an influencer, um, products, um, recipes, reviews, videos, all of that information. So I've bolded the ones that are most likely relevant for small businesses. However, some may also be, for example, recipes if you're a restaurant. So why do you need structured data? Uh, we touched upon a few points, but basically to recap, it allows you to enhance the search results. So appear more prominently, pop out. Um, it allows you to show up in rich snippets and it basically makes it easier for users to find the information that they need really quickly directly within the search engine uh, instead of having to go to your website and dig around and try to find it. So how do you use structured data? Number one is choose your schema type. So this really depends on your developer's preference or what platform you're using or simply how easy it is to use. I recommend schema.org to start with. Number two is add the markup or generate the markup for your data. So if you're um, familiar with HTML, uh, then you can do it manually if you want. Or if you just want to save some time, you can use some of the tools that generate it for you automatically. And finally, you want to test it just to make sure that it's error free, especially if you do it manually, you might make some mistakes. So it's important to make sure it shows up correctly. Now, how do you add it to your website? Great question. So you can add the markup code manually, just copy and paste it um, in HTML on the page around that content, that data that you want to tag up. And you can use schema.org for reference to see what entities you need to tag up. And then it gives you some examples and shows you how to do that. Uh, or you can use the data highlighter tool. So Google Webmasters, um, what it used to be called Webmasters, has a data highlighter tool. You can use that uh, to generate some schema or, or structured data results. Um, or you can use a CMS plugin. So if you use WordPress or Wix or Squarespace, many of these have plugins that allow for structured data. Um, in this case, WordPress, you can use this plugin right here, WP SEO Structured Data Schema. Download it, install it, and then you can use that to, to basically tag up different entities on your site. Now, finally, how do you test it to make sure it works? Well, you can use two of these tools. Um, basically, first is the uh, Search Console Rich Results, and that basically allows you to test a page to see if it's working and pulling it in correctly. Or you can use the schema.org validator. Yes, the schema.org has a tool to test its own schema, of course. So you can go there and uh, use that to make sure that you've implemented their schema correctly. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments below. 
And I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next video.